What is up, YouTube? Gonna get here back at it with another My League rebuild, and today we are doing a Kendrick Nunn rebuild. We're gonna make this team his because he's just balling out. He's scoring 22 a game, but before the video starts, you guys always know what to do. Make sure to drop a like, spam that like button for me, please. Subscribe if you are new, turn on those post notifications if you like what you're watching, and of course, drop a comment down below what you thought about this rebuild, what you want to see uh, in other rebuilds as well. But let's get to it. Three-point scoring, mid-range scoring, inside scoring is what he can do. I believe that is what he can do in real life. He's scoring 22 points a game, 1.8 steals a game, at least of the recording at the time of this video that I'm recording it. Um, and he has uh, over 100 points in his first five games as a rookie. Only other player to do that, I believe, or the last player to do that was, was Kevin Durant. So he's beasting. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to edit his stats a little bit. If he goes up to like a 75-ish, 77-ish, uh, that's where I kind of want him at. I don't know how much he's going to improve over time as well, but attributes, we're going to go in here. We're going to improve his driving layup. We're going to make it like a like an 82. Don't know how good his post fade, his post hook, his post moves are going to be. His draw foul is not the great. He's only going to, I think, uh, two free throws a game, which for a rookie is not horrible, but it, it shows that he... I guess isn't getting to the line a lot, but his free throw shot is, I don't, I don't think he's missed one. Mid range shot, we're moving that up to an 83. Three point shot, we'll move it up as well to like an 83. We'll make it equal. Um, he, he's shooting 50% from the field. He's shooting 48% from three. I'm gonna move a shot up. I'm gonna move a shot up. He's shooting 48% from three in with six attempts so he's making three of those he's making three three-point shots off 6.2 attempts ball handle will improve it a little bit as well i mean he's a guard i don't think it's that bad we'll leave it like a 79 pass iq is not the greatest he is only averaging like two assists two assists two rebounds so that department is not his forte but the man can score the man can uh, defend he's getting 1.8 steals like second of all rookies behind matisse don't know how good his Duncan is, but we'll just improve it just to improve a little his, his overall uh, shot IQ. It can't be that bad when, when you're scoring. When you're scoring 51% of your shots, it cannot be horrible. Plus, he's playing a lot of minutes, so coach wouldn't. If he was just chucking up shots, you're not playing. Now to defensive attributes. His rebounding's not good. His interior defense, I don't know if that's good, but we'll improve it a little bit. Perimeter defense will improve a lot of it to at least like a 78. His block, I don't know if that's good, but his steal is great as well. That's going up to like an 80 or... Yeah, we'll put it up in 80. He's second leading uh, rookie, and I think he's like top 12 or something in the entire NBA. He's... In steals, he's 11th. In steals, he's 11th in the entire NBA, and three-point field goals, he's 13th right now. Those aren't rookie leaderboards. Those are all at the entire NBA leaderboards. Go back. I'm hoping I didn't make him pass an 80 overall because I want to be kind of conservative. I kind of want to be a little conservative. Oh, gosh. Okay, he's a 76. Perfect. I'll leave him at a 76 overall. He's like three overall better than Tyler Hero, um, but we're going to make this team, this his team, He's going to be the number one option. I don't know what I want to improve. Kendrick Nunn is our starting point guard, uh, or he's our starting shooting guard now. Dragic is starting. Got to make Nunn the number one option. Um, we're going to play physical defense for sure to try to win a championship uh, or try to win as many games as possible during the regular season to get ourselves the best position. Uh, but now, got to go find uh, players that I want. I need a future power forward that I could plug in here. Probably a backup center of the future, a backup point guard of the future, and uh, a current point guard, to be completely honest with y'all. All right, I just went in, clicked on Brunson, and um, this is what popped up. They want Myers Leonard. They want James Johnson. I'll do that easily. Expiring contract for Courtney Lee. Rookie scale contract for Brunson, who hopefully improves at the exception. We got ourselves a backup point guard. Uh, now we need a starting point guard. We need either we draft them if we suck. I don't know if we will because we do have Jimmy Butler. We improved none to a 76 overall for now. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Want a backup center of the future that is going to be Daniel Gafford. Uh, he's going to, I'm going to send him to the G League. He's going to come back as a valuable bench piece in season number two. Felicio, he's there for, <laughs> I guess, uh, another trade bait, trade option. I don't know. Duncan Robinson, he's gone, 25 years old. Deion Waiters is he even getting a lot of minutes for y'all. Isn't there like problems with Deion Waiters in, 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 in Heat Land? Anyways, we're getting Daniel Gafford. Send him to the G League. We'll get a young piece instead of guys that I don't think are getting much minutes. 
Guys, don't know if this is going to go through. I like Kelly Olynyk. He offers that ability to stretch the floor, but Thomas Bryant is just younger. I think he'll be valuable to trade away later. I don't want to give you Udonis. I can't give you Udonis, you weirdos. Take KZ. We'll take Justin Robinson. There we go. It went through. I don't know why they just wanted another player, but we got ourselves a backup center now. Gafford could either be a backup. Oh, gosh, has them is starting. But uh, either Gafford could be a backup in the second season or we could he trade him away or trade Thomas Bryant. He has a very, very, very nice contract. As you might think, this is a really, really dumb trade. But I need players if I want to move up my pick later on. Um, I need a point guard of the future. I also need a power forward of the future. So those are going to be my two targets. I couldn't find a point guard. I've tried so hard to get so many different young point guards on my team. It just didn't work. I'm going to use Trevor Reza as trade bait in the off season right now he's actually gonna be my power forward um because we don't have one and then Corey joseph is just kind of gonna be on my bench you just kind of gotta be on my bench i'm gonna accept that trade we're taking in their contracts that's gonna be it for season number one but this is the lineup for season number one Drogic at the one uh we're just gonna let him walk in the off season i guess kendrick nunn at the two as our number one scoring option he's a 76 overall i changed some of his stats because i mean uh, i don't know when 2k is actually gonna change them jimmy butler is uh our three spot obviously trevor reza our four bam our five rebounding might be an issue winslow our six thomas bryan our seventh brunson our eighth and tyler hero our ninth so we're pretty deep Tyler Hero is going to improve. He might even end up being better than none eventually, but it's whatever. Uh, Daniel Gafford going to send to the G League. And yeah, we're going to go from there. Hopefully, I don't know if we'll make the playoffs. This is a very iffy team. If we don't make the playoffs good, we'll move up our lottery pick. Um, but we'll see how we do. Going to go to system proficiency. Grit and grind is actually pretty up there. So that's what we're going to go with. Grit and grind. One last thing I got to do is send our boy Gafford to the, the G League and hopefully he comes back a lot better. At the end of season number one, we're 40 and 42, which still might be good for like an eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. Giannis wins MVP. Morant wins Rookie of the Year. Sixth man is DeMarcus Cousins. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player. Malik Monk, most improved coach of the year. Brett Brown, who was Rookie of the Year? I just skipped over that. Job at 19 points. We're going to see what our Nun did. Kendrick Nunn does make an all-rookie first team, so I'm glad to see him there. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I'm going to see where we finish sixth, actually. <laughs> the East. Okay, 40 and 42 is good for sixth. Looking at the rookie report, that's actually not bad. Because Zion Williamson, obviously, he's injured in real life. Don't know how good he's going to come back. Don't know what he's going to average when he comes back. But don't know if they're going to take it slow when he comes back. But Kendrick... If Zion were out, we'd still be the number one uh, uh, leading scorer at, for rookies. Uh, our assists aren't great. Our rebounds aren't great. Our steals, that's pretty close. This is all a pretty close stat line. I, I, I mean, we had to make up the number one option to do that, but it's fine with me. His field goal percentage could be a little bit better. Three points, fine, in my opinion. And yeah, it's pretty dang accurate. Let's go look at our, the rest of our stats really quickly. Jimmy Butler scoring 16. Uh, Drogic 15 with 4 assists. Brunson 11 and 3 off my bench. Bam 10 and 11. Winslow 9, 4 and 2. Tyler Hero 8 points in super limited minutes. Thomas Bryant 7 and 8. Eight and Ariza is a start of seven, five, and four assists. So definitely need to improve some places. My point guard spot, my power forward spot, and uh, I think we're on our way. Especially since, I mean, we're the sixth seed with none as our leading scorer. I'm hoping we get a championship here in the season number two or three. Just gonna simulate quickly. Round number one, if we get past Brooklyn, something's wrong with Brooklyn because I think they're the better team at the moment right now in these playoffs so we only take one game from them understandable let's go see who wins the championship and then hopefully fill out our spots in this season or in the off or, or in the next season lakers for 76ers and the lakers take the championship 33 10 assists and 5.7 rebounds uh those rebounds are a little bit lower than what i'm used to but everything else is ridiculous three-point shooting field goal percentage it, wow. Trying to see if I can finesse for the number four pick. We have the 17th pick. Corey Joseph, Trevor Reza, not pieces of our future. It's not going to work out for us, though. Maybe we could keep going lower and finesse somebody behind them. Uh, fifth pick, Cleveland. What do you say? Still not happening. Do you have a counter offer of some sort? They do not. Going to throw in Thomas Bryant, but I'm going to go back to the fourth pick, I believe, just to see if we could actually finesse that one. Trevor Reza, Thomas Bryant, our pick. Oh, not the future one, the one we currently have. And then a Corey Joseph, just to see if it goes through. Take all that. 
Give me your fourth pick. We are up to the fourth overall pick. We gave up just Thomas Bryant, I guess, um, which is a nice backup piece, but we have Gafford coming in from the G League. Season number two, we drafted Cole Anthony with the fourth overall pick that we had. Uh, we needed a point guard. Hopefully this solves it. I'm hoping he reaches uh, 80s by the second season here. None is a 77 overall, so he didn't really improve that much. We had him, what, at a 76? So he improved one, I think. But hopefully he improves a little bit more this offseason. I did send him to untapped potential, that camp. Um, pretty pretty close stats once we improved into a 76 overall. I like it so far. Uh, we'll see what this where we where this takes us, where this team takes us. Cole Anthony, none. Uh, Jimmy Butler went up from an 88 to an 89, I believe. Ibaka was an 80 overall. I signed him for one season. I switched him to power forward because it's a secondary position, and we needed a power forward. That makes him an 84 overall, which is pretty freaking ridiculous. I only signed him for one season. Um, bam. 81 overall from a 79, I believe. So he's getting minutes there. Bobby Portis, I signed as well as a as a center power forward. Moving to the power forward, he goes up from a 79 to an 82. I will take that. Uh, Winslow uh, went up one, I believe, to a 79. Brunson, same thing. He's a 77. Tyler Hero, a 76. Ninth man off my bench. Daniel Gafford, still not getting minutes. Probably going to send him one more season to the G League. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to make any changes. I know Jimmy Butler is going to start getting worse. So we're going to have to rely a lot on our youth. Hopefully none it becomes even better in this offseason. I don't know if it's going to happen. But yeah, same thing. Grit and grind. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. We finished 40 and 42, which was good for the sixth seed. Don't know what we'll finish this season. Um, still have uh, none as our number one scoring option. At least we should. Yes, we do. Still playing physical defense. See you at the end of season number two. Hopefully with a better record. If not, we will eventually. If not next season, the fourth season. I just don't know. I need to win a championship with none being the main guy. I also need to resign, resign him this offseason. Season number two, we do worse. It's okay. Uh, we have a young point guard that is, that still needs to get better. I'm hoping Jimmy Butler just doesn't decline. I need him to stay okay. But Ben Simmons wins uh, MVP. I was about to say rookie of the year. LaMelo Ball, rookie of the year. Al Horford, six man. Defensive player, Kawhi Leonard. Markel Fultz, most improved. Brett Brown, 62 and 20. And uh, we already did that. MVP. Okay. Cole Anthony, all rookie. First team, of course, because he's getting a bunch of minutes. Um... And we don't make the playoffs. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we don't have our pick as well, unless it is lottery protected somewhere. But let's go look at our, not standings, our player stats. I was looking at the playoff stats. Sick. Leading score is still none, but we have, a, we're all pretty much even scores, man. None is getting 17.6. He was getting around like 18, but I guess it went even lower. His field goal percentage improved a little bit. Um, free throw improved. Minutes per game. Why is he not getting more? I literally have him. I literally have him at 40 minutes per game, and for some reason he's not getting them. The Rockets are the NBA champions. Philadelphia makes it again to the finals, but they just can't get over that hump. They can't win a championship. James Harden, finals MVP. Let's go see if we finally make a freaking playoff. Well, we made it last season, but to see if we actually make some noise in the playoffs and then hopefully win a championship. So on to season number three, maybe win in season number four, or unless we sign like a huge free agent here. But I think we need to sign some of our guys back first. Season number three, I believe season number four is the year that we would do it. But uh, none is not. Oh, man, he's not improving. He's a 78 overall. He's not improving. It still says he's like a two-way uh, just a score or something like that. But um, I like it. We're still going to make him the number one score. Cole Anthony goes up to an 81 in the offseason. Jimmy Butler, 89. I think he stays the same. Bobby Portis in 82. He stayed the same. Or he went down. No, he stayed the same. So he's still going to run my four. Big free agent we got was Rudy Gobert. He got 19 boards a game last season. That's insane. That's insane. He's going to be part of that big three that I wanted. Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, uh, none. Uh, Rudy Gobert not really stealing touches away from um, none. So hopefully he's just getting those points off those boards. Um, 19 points is so... 19 points is ridiculous. He's getting three blocks a game. So he's going to be that interior defender. Bobby Portis is going to be able to stretch the floor. Uh, the three ball for us. None hopefully as well. And then Cole Anthony just improving. Hopefully 27% from three. Not the best. Tyler Hero is now better than none. Like I expected. Um he's supposed to be the starter so hopefully he gives us great offense off the bench he might take a lot of time away from none if coach plays him longer for some reason uh winslow is the seventh man gafford's not an 81 after sending him for two seasons into the g league he spent two seasons in the g league and now he's an 81 overall as a backup center brunson's a 79 overall we're deep we're ridiculously deep 
Need to re-sign none. Need to bring back, I think, Jimmy Butler. Um, yeah, lot, lots of things to do this offseason. Season number three, here we go. Hopefully, for sure, championship season number four. Season number three, we're finally actually kind of decent. Um, I'm pretty sure putting none at the number one option is making us worse. It has to be 49 and 33. That's not bad. And only, and I mean, our youth is going to keep improving. Embiid, MVP, uh, Jalen Johnson, rookie of the year, RJ Hampton, six man of the year. Who is starting for them that he's off the bench? Anthony Davis, defensive player, LaMelo Ball, most improved. He won rookie of the year. Now he's most improved. Brett Brown, 59 and 23. We're 10 games behind that. So hopefully we'll catch up in the fourth season. The last season that I'm going to try this, um, I don't know, man. It's getting difficult. Even though this is our best season, um, Rudy Gobert does make an all-defensive second team. He probably uh, rebounded like a madman again. We are the number three seed in the East. The number three seed with Cole Anthony is leading the way now, even with none as the number one option. I made sure to make, uh, I made sure that he was the number one option. He's a two-way scoring machine, getting 15 points a game. Field goal percentage is not the best. Same with Bobby Portis. Tyler Hero off the bench is almost scoring more than none, though. Let's see what we do in these playoffs. We get past the New York Knicks. I want to see who they have starting that they have. I believe RJ Hampton off the bench winning six man of the year. We're about to 4-0 them. Wow, we made it to the second round, finally, finally, we made the playoffs first season, missed the second season, made the playoffs third season, uh, now to see who we're up against, of course, Kyrie, KD, Spencer Dinwiddie at the two, Serge Ibaka at the four, and he got himself another major contract because I made him a center into a power forward, what? That he shouldn't have gotten that money. He shouldn't have gotten that money, but somehow Brooklyn had that money or something. Landry off the bench, JJ Redick off the bench. Their team is pretty good to be a seventh overall. Seventh? Seventh seed? Do we lose? Oh, we might lose right here. They might go. Yeah, they might come back 4-2. It makes sense. That always happens. You go up 2-0, you lose 4-2. Seventh and eighth seed make it in the Eastern Conference. That's insane. So, Philly. Philly's having problems, man. Philly is having problems. It's the Mavericks versus the Celtics. The Celtics are actually putting up a fight. They might just win it right here. They did. An eighth seed. An eighth seed wins. Okay. Okay, 2K. What the heck is going on? That means we have a chance. We have a chance no matter what. Let's go see how we improve this team. Uh, we might need a power forward. I don't know if I have cap space to sign everybody. I got to see what I got to do. I got to pull out some... Pull something out my butt and make this team amazing. Maybe it's time to start Tyler Hero. Okay, guys. Season number four. I think we have a squad now. Um, Going to have CPU rebuild. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon was still in free agency. He somehow came to our team. Like at the start of the season. Like we're right at the start of the season. Ready to start. He was still there. Um, And we got him for an insanely cheap. We got him for $7 million, Less. $6.6 .6 million. Um, he's an 84 overall. He's going to be, I guess, our power forward starter. Bobby still might. Actually, I might have Aaron Gordon off my bench. I might have Aaron Gordon off my bench, and I might have Bobby P start still. I might do that, I think. And you guys probably also saw we have Kyrie Irving. I moved Tyler here to small forward. He was an 84 this season. Switching off small forward, he goes up to an 85. So his shooting, look at that shooting graph. It's ridiculous. Chris Nunn, same thing. Kendrick Nunn, same thing. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep doing this. Kyrie Irving, uh, we signed him in free agency. We couldn't re-sign him and Jimmy Butler, so we had to let him go. Bobby Portis is back. Rudy Gobert is still here on that huge contract. Cole Anthony, rookie scale. Aaron Gordon, somehow cheap. Gafford is going to be there. And then uh, Jerry and Grant is going to be our... I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Maybe Holiday. Maybe have a shooting guard small forward in Holiday. Maybe a little bit of defense there. We'll give him eight minutes, and we still have a lot to redistribute around. We're going to give 30 there. This has to be my championship squad. Not very good defensively. Kendrick Nunn, still my number one option. That's the whole point of this rebuild. Fired Spolstra only. I love Spolstra. He's a great coach, um, but I fired him because his offense, I believe, was like a D. And uh, Nick Nurse's offense is an A and defense is an A minus. Um, but Spolster's defense is a uh, A. We're going to run balance now instead of grit and grind that Eric, Eric Spolster likes to run. See how we're doing. If I need to make moves, I will make moves. I have players to make moves. Bobby Portis's contract. Uh, Cole Anthony, if we really need to trade him since we have Kyrie Irving now. 
we'll see how that ends up working. We'll see how uh, Kendrick Nunn does with this, uh, with a lot more offense, probably going to Kyrie Irving. The trade here, Bull Bull is just ridiculous. Gonna move him to power forward. He's scoring 24 a game. We're getting that on our team. We're 17 and 15. We need whatever help we can get. Bull Bull is uh, 1.5 blocks per game defense looks a little bit quite a bit better than both of them to be honest knows noel can help the defense as well off the bench now so pretty much bull bull welcome to the team uh thank you aaron gordon for accepting that contract that super cheap contract and free agency or at the start of the season i don't know why he did that but bull bull is about to go even higher now switching him to power forward he's an 89 overall it's a ggs hopefully we do a lot better and we win a championship Another trade I'm going to do actually is trade away Gafford because his field goal percentage is absolutely horrible. As a big, you don't want to be shooting anywhere. Even shooting under 50% for me, I don't like it. But he's shooting like 39, 38%. No, thank you. I'll get whoever I can in, in this trade. I don't know why he's valued so high. He's bad. He's not good. Sure, why not? Give me Kelly Oubre Jr. off my bench. I will take him. We're getting a fir uh, first round, I believe, in there, too. Looking for more defense off my bench. Avery Bradley, we need a backup. Anyways, they want a second rounder. Sure, uh, he'll be like my ninth man. No nothing major, but hopefully a little boost. If we don't win a championship, I don't know what to do. It's probably because of none. <laughs> Making him the first option is an issue, but that's why it's a challenge. 51 and 31, we actually started improving once I put our defense on play, physical defense, and that was at the start of March, so maybe we could have finished better, but Zion wins MVP, Trey, man, uh, 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 rookie of the year, six man Cole Anthony, of course, because he's a beast coming off my bench, Rudy Gobert, defensive player, so not only do we have six man, defensive player, Cade Cunningham, most improved, Eric Spolster, coach of the year, with who, with who? <laughs> Oh my gosh, we suck. All defensive first, of course, Rudy Gobert. And I think that's it for our squad. We finished third again with a better... Oh, uh, wait. Did we finish with the same record? I don't even remember anymore. This has been so long. It's been four seasons. Player stats. Bull Bull is just a monster, averaging 23.6. And that, oh my god, everybody's scoring more than none. Even Cole Anthony off the bench. Uh, Kendrick none. Oh man, he's sc shooting better. This is his best shooting season for us at 42. 39 from three, 90% from the free throw line. So it's not bad. He's a shooting beast. I think I'm going to turn him off for the playoffs though. I'm going to, whoever, whoever needs to score will score. I'm sorry. We're going to win a championship. Championships come first. I think we should be able to handle the Chicago Bulls, I'm hoping. And of course, as I say that, we lose the first game and the second game. Um, please 2K, make us go 4-2 now. Okay, we're gonna go down 3-1. We're gonna go down 3-1. Simulate with Simcast. Give less minutes to Kendrick, give more minutes to Nerlens Noel, give less minutes to Rudy Gobert. No, thank you, gonna simulate. We're at home. I think we're the better team, meaning we should win by simulating with Simcast. Simulate the next game. Yes, please. Loading the next game. We're not losing. We're not losing. We're the better team. I'm pretty sure by quite a bit, in my opinion. Holy crap, this is a close game. Holy crap, this is a close game. We're up with three minutes left. I'm not going to jump in. I'm not going to. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Somehow we got it. Simulate the next game. Is this game number seven? Something like that. At home again. We're going to win. We're the better team. I'm not even scared about this one. I'm telling you. Simulate with Simcast. More realistic. When you just simulate out of nowhere, it just gives it to whoever. Honestly. We're up against a 7 seed Detroit. Dennis Smith Jr. Nope. Kyrie's better. CJ McCollum. Yeah, CJ's better than none. Tyler Hero versus Amoni Bates. That's, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. He might be better in some areas. We might be better in some. Bull Bull. Reggie Perry. Yeah, we're better. Drummond versus Gobert. That's going to be a rebounding battle right there. Bojan Bogdanovic, Sigurdumbuya. Okay, interesting. I still think we should have this uh, Miami versus Detroit. We are the three seed. They are the seventh seed. We're up against Atlanta, who is going to have a godly squad. Atlanta versus Miami. This is actually a really close matchup. Uh, we're very close players. DeAndre Hunter, probably the better defender. He is uh, 6'7", probably the actual size. He's 225. Tyler Hero is 192. So... Yeah, uh, Bull Bull, maybe versus John Collins, Bull Bull would take that, uh, especially this Bull Bull, this 2K. Rudy Gobert versus, I think, James Wiseman. Their team is so ridiculous, bro. Keep it close. Keep it close. Maybe we should have gone eight-man rotation now that I think about it, but never. Oh, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> 
We're up against Houston. Uh, 93 Westbrook versus 93. Durant, 98 Harden versus none. Yikes. Uh, Haywood Highsmith versus Hero. We beat him out there. We beat him out there as well. And then we beat him out there. Jonathan Isaac, Kyle Lowry. Oh, Kyle Lowry with the Rockets again. Just so you guys see the playoff stats. When we don't make him a leading scorer or a uh, number one option, he shoots better, but he's scoring five points. Last matchup against the Rockets. I don't know if we're at home, and I th none was the problem. None was the problem. Of course, that was the challenge, but we won with none in our starting lineup at least. I kind of failed because I wanted to make up the number one option throughout. Um, Bull Bull is an absolute monster, destroying everybody. 54% from the three-point line. We finally won a championship in the fourth season. It took forever. This team doesn't even look anything like it used to. Uh, it just ended up being this way. I didn't even mean it to be this way, but I, I chose Kyrie Irving instead of Jimmy Butler. I signed Rudy Gobert, and then I I couldn't sign bam if i wanted to because we were over the cap at that point uh drafted cole anthony as our future point guard and then we just draft we just took uh kyrie irving and now we have a super sub in cole anthony who well, i could probably start at the shooting guard spot to be completely honest tyler hero 87 nerds noel uh kelly Oubre jr kendrick nunn nunn uh these were his averages for four seasons these were his averages he balled out 17.6 in his career 1.5 steals 41 percent, 35 percent, 88 percent. if that ends up being his first four seasons in the nba that's pretty dang good drop a like if you enjoyed I, in my opinion i failed this because i mean i did keep him in the starting lineup throughout my whole rebuild but i failed it because i wanted him to be the number one option throughout and i took him out uh in the playoffs because i really wanted to win a championship we did end up winning it like i said drop a like drop a comment down below what other rebuilds like this you'd like to see if you're new make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and as always guys thanks for